Woman in History and Art. Glad to meet you. I'm Margarita Ruira, the curator of this exhibition. I will explain you the many ideas we try to share with you. The Bible founding myth of the human species placed the human as liable of the lost paradise. To alleviate such a serious accusation, the Church accentuated the cult of the Virgin Mary, a character who had received little attention by the evangelists. The image of the Virgin is often associated with that of her son, making her a mediator between the faithful and Jesus. The sympathy towards the Virgin is accentuated in the images in which she witnesses the death of her son. In room one, we show the stages in woman's life. And in this painting by Eugène Carrière, we show, we highlight, the relationship between the girl and her doll. While here, the artist focuses on the protection of her, the older sister over the newborn. In the Thulana family, we preserve our roots and we are very interested in rural clothing, like this from Brittany. The intimacy of the traditional woman's home is shown in this young woman sewing. The independent young woman from the beginning of the 20th century already dares to wear some masculine clothes. The romantic side is represented by this thoughtful and melancholic woman who seems to be waiting for her lover. In this symbolist painting, the nut shows two women thinking about another woman whose profile illuminates the forest through which they walk. Old age appears represented by the wealthy bourgeois. And for the poor peasant woman, resigned to the proximity of death, painted by Nati Furuaga. The issue of social differences has been a matter of great importance in the Zuluaga collection. Although it may surprise us today, until the beginning of the 20th century, it was frowned upon for women to walk alone, since they could be confused with prostitutes. The insecurity, even walking in pairs, can be perceived in the engraving, They Follow Us, by Ricardo Barojo. In Natatula painted the writer and actress Blanche Barrymore, dressed as a medieval sir, as well as the scandalous mother Marcel Souti, with her haircut and masculine clothing that she wore at some parties. Traditionally, artists' main clients were aristocrats, such as the Duchess of Tarkal. Until American millionaires began to travel to Paris to be portrayed by the great painters. An intermediate social situation was the human supported by the rich lovers. The hard work of many peasant women and fisher women motivated them to emigrate to the big cities where the harsh living conditions pushed them to alcoholism and the big business of prostitution, which was even regulated in France. A main part of the Zuluaga collection is dedicated to the gypsy people, with which our family has been maintaining a close connection also linked to flamenco. Ignacio Zuluaga had an intimate relationship with gypsy women throughout his life, to which he painted a still in French style since his arrival in Andalusia at the age of 22, creating the internationally accepted archetype of gypsy woman. The process of woman's liberation began in her home receiving her guests. Francisco de Goya portrayed the Countess of Baena dressed to go out in a comfortable posture, demonstrating self-confidence. 
A century later, Ignacio Zuluaga reinterpreted the favorite painting in his collection, painting Marcel Suti in the same position. To Ignacio Zuluaga painted some of the most erotic nudes in the history of art, a type of painting to which his best friends also dedicated themselves intensely, exploring the most modern approaches. In the hall below, we present some works dedicated to the saints. Santa Ursula of Francisco Turbaran deserves special attention. Accompanied by two works by one of the painters of his circle, which have been attributed to Bernabé de Ayala. Another important theme is that of the Virgin Mary, which is this Annunciation by El Greco. This portable Damascene altar produced by Plácido Zuluaga and several wood carvings, such as this unique Dormition of the Virgin from the 15th century. Please watch the other video about the Zuluaga collection that is presented at the end of the exhibition. Thank you.